We should get moving. Um, yes, of course. As you want. Fine. Good move. Uh, Hi. all right, why not? That's the way. Sure. Lady Taha? You should talk to Lady Utran first. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I forgot. Huh. Tahar, you've come. What's the situation? Shane Wolfgar and his brother have arrived three days ago and have set up camp in the southeast. Waylon Hallett arrived this morning and has positioned himself in the north. No signs of the purity? None. That's good news. When will the Conclave take place? That's complicated. Briefly put, they were unwilling to even shake hands. Both of them said that they would under no circumstances fight beneath the same banner. Well, that's not really news, is it? No, but I am surprised their dislike toward each other lies so deep. However, at least House Hallett said that they would agree to an alliance between you, that is, House Utran and him. But only if we meet their demands. House Wolfcar won't even do that. If House Wolfgar doesn't want an alliance, why do they even come here? I don't know. So what about the Conclave and the Fortress? Will it even take place? Yes, they agreed to talk to each other. At least that much. It will take place today at noon. And I will notify you once everything is prepared. Any negotiations with Hallett and Wolfgar on their own will have to be done before that. How is the relationship of the houses with House Utren? Good. House Utran has never had any quarrels, and, as you know already, we will fight under your banner. Whatever your negotiations bring forth, House Utran will stand by your decisions. But we need this alliance. There has to be a way. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. My hands are tied to her. Myra, you still seem a bit distant. Are you really okay? I am functional. That is all that matters for now. Hmm. Well, if you say so. I'll try talking to them. Good. And one more thing. You know about the village to the east, correct? Yes. Batham, isn't it? Yes. According to my scout, the villagers took in some of the mages who fled Amaria Leonidas' torture camp. If you find the time, you might go there and try to get them to join our cause. They are mages, after all, and might be of help. But it is your decision. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Myra. You're welcome. Yes, Tahar? Do you require anything else? How are you feeling? You still seem... distant. As I said, I am functional. I will not let you down. Hmm. I'll be off. Will do. Heading out? Good luck. Thanks, soldier. This way, right? Got it. A fine plan. Fine. All right. Wayland Hallett's camp is to the north, and the Wolfgar brothers are to the southeast. Question is, where do we go first? Your choice, Corporal. More fighting. Does this never end? Hold it right there, stranger. You... Wait. You're Corporal Tahar. I am. I think your lord wants to speak to me. He does. You may pass, to heart. Thank you. Huh? Um, yes, of course. Hmm. Understood. As you want.
Um, yes, of course. Zarek guides me. Up ahead. I think that's Shane Wolfgar. <laughs> I don't like him. Fine. Interesting. Now would you look at that? If it isn't the fable to Har. I'm here to... I know what you're here for. You want our troops to take back Greyfell, which the Royal Army so gloriously failed to protect against a couple of pitchfork-wielding lunatics. I'll cut right to the chase. House Wolfgar doesn't need an ally. Even if the sky rains fire, there's no way on Eo we will join forces with a Samo Tahar's child or Wayland Hallett. I know you're not on good terms with the Hallett, but is an old family feud really worth risking the future of Nortender? Let that be my worry. What is your problem with me? What isn't my problem with you? You're a Samo Tahar's child. First you betrayed your father, then the Royal Army. So why would I trust you to lead my men into battle? For all I know, you change your allegiances as often as your underpants. Maybe even in the middle of a fight. I stopped the blood burn. Did you? If you don't want to join forces with either of us, then why are you even here? Because it was just a stone's throw from where we were going anyway. The spam. You're planning to attack Greyfell. And also, it gave me an idea of your strength. Now that I have seen it, I have nothing left to worry about. I trust you can see yourself out of the camp, can you? Goodbye, Tahar. Huh. Get out. A fine plan. Tahar, you may pass. All right. What now? Well, we need to. Tahar, that's you, isn't it? Maybe. Who are you? Ulrich Wolfgar, pleased to meet you. I overheard your conversation with my brother. First off, I apologize. He was never particularly good with people. To make it short, unlike my brother, I think we could help each other. Or, to be more precise, I think we must. What Shane intends to do, marching against Greyfall on his own, is madness. But you're not in charge, are you? Your brother is the lord of the house. Well observed. But that doesn't mean that my opinion doesn't carry any weight. See, Tahar, the thing is, there's no way on Eo we will ally ourselves with House Hallett. But his dislike for you is irrational. He knows you're not what he made you out to be, and essentially it boils down to the fact that he thinks you're not fit to lead an army. That you're weak. Just think about it. Why would he have us travel here if he weren't considering an alliance? So, in other words, Unless there's some bigger scheme to his play that he hasn't let me in on yet, our presence here means that he's considering an alliance with you. Hmm. So what do you suggest we do? You need to show him you're not the weakling he thinks you are. While my brother was in the camp brooding over old feuds, I took the liberty of exploring this lovely spot of Earth. And I found something quite interesting. A wavern. Let me guess. You want us to kill it. Exactly. Bring him one of the wavern's teeth, still wet and bloody, and let him know that you've killed it yourself. I know my brother. 
He has always loved the old stories of monster hunters and dragon slayers, and he respects strength in battle more than finesse and cunning, which is, quite frankly, one of the reasons why Wolfgar has fallen from grace. We don't even have troops. You're asking for a lot. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? Any commander can send his men into the fangs of a Wavern, but only a true leader can take down the Wavern himself. I even agree with Shane on that. Come back here once you have its tooth. Good luck, Tahar. And don't die. Brother seems reasonable enough. I think we should kill that lizard, then see what he suggests. Though we could also talk to Wayland Hallett first and hear his opinion on all this. I'll Tahar, you may pass. Sure. Will do. Sure. Uh, all right, why not? Blasted armor. Zarek guides me. Understood. Um, yes, mm. of course. I'll well, keep you shielded. Fine plan. That's the way. Interesting. Tahar, I heard the fighting. Does that mean? The Wavern is dead. Yes. Here's his tooth. Let me see. Huh. Well, color me impressed. Shane, I think you should see this. What? Here. This is for you. A Wavern's tooth, straight from the beast's jaws. Huh. So? Why are you showing me this? Oh, blazes, Shane. Don't play dumb with me. This woman may be many things, but she's not weak. 
Someone who can kill a Wavern with their own hands is fit to lead an army against the Purity. Maybe. But the question is, is she willing to make the hard calls when push comes to shove? What do you... Meet me at the foot of the fortress, Tahar. Alone. Yes? You're thinking of going? I at least want to know what he has to say. Got it. Understood. Mm. Will do. Mm. You came? Well, that's something. Let's get to the point. Given that my original impression of you wasn't entirely correct, let me revise my statement. An alliance between House Wolfgar and House Utran, and thus you, might not be out of the question anymore. So that Wavern's tooth really changed your mind? Not the tooth. Your tenacity. I know Ulfric had a hand in this, but it doesn't matter. You didn't let yourself be scared off by my words. And not to mention that a commander who charges into battle on his own is a rarity these days. Most of them are fat bureaucrats who know how to wield the quill better than the sword. Now don't get me wrong, I still don't trust you. But nonetheless, you know your craft, and this is what matters for now. But I'm guessing you have terms for that alliance, don't you? Why the secrecy? Because I want you to kill Wayland Hallett for me. I beg your pardon? You heard right. I didn't come here just to see your troops, though that was one of the reasons. I came here to rid the world of the Hallett bloodline once and for all. Do you know what he did? You blame him for the death of your daughter, right? Blame? Don't think I can't read between the lines, Tahar. He killed my daughter. Murdered her. And only because he was too much of a coward to stand up to his promise. He could have saved her, but he didn't. Because doing that would have meant risking his precious troops for a rival house. We were just stupid enough to get there before him. Believe me, Tahar, Waylon knows how to act all friendly and reasonable. But he's a strategist who'll stop at nothing to increase the influence of his house. He'll smile at you and tell you what you want to hear. But ultimately, everything he tells you only follows one purpose. Himself. How do you know this is really what happened at the battle? Were you there? Tahar, I am not going down that route. I am not. So you want to assassinate him? You know what you're asking of me, don't you? You could be trialed for just mentioning this. <laughs> By whom? The purity of light. Also, it's your word against mine. If you take this to anyone else, I will simply deny it. If we kill Wayland Hallett, their soldiers will fall into confusion like sheep without a shepherd. According to my spies, many of his men would likely switch sides if something were to happen to Wayland. The rest might realize the scheme behind his death and turn against us. In return, we will swear loyalty to House Utran. At least until the purity is taken care of. And what do you want my role to be in this? You're the only one who can get into their camp. Wayland Hallett knows how many people are out for his head, which makes him rather... vigilant. Does Ulrich know about your plan? He doesn't, and it will stay that way. The moment you take the word of this to anybody else, House Wolfgar will turn against you. You'd endanger all of Nortander just because you want Wayland Hallett dead? Just because I want him dead? Do you have any idea what that's like, Tar? To see the man who murdered your daughter walk around as if nothing happened? With that smug smile on his face? I've waited years for this, and now is the perfect opportunity. I don't like this, but I'll think about it. Good.
Here. All you need to do is pour five drops of this poison into Wayland Hallett's food or drink. It will take care of the rest. And don't worry, it won't take effect before the Conclave takes place. And when it does, it will be a swift and merciful death. More merciful than this bastard deserves, in fact. All you need to do is to find a way so that the arrogant dwarf lover swallows it. Until then, goodbye. I will see you at the Conclave. Yeah, you will. Will do. Abominations! Breath. Where did they come from? I wouldn't know. It almost seemed like they ambushed us. <sighs> well, they certainly made short work of these villagers. Come, let's take a look around. Maybe there are survivors. Yes? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yes, of course. Now would you look at that? No, no, stay away! Stay the fuck away from me! Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. That's what these goddamn defilers said, too. And we helped them. Can you believe it? We fucking helped them! You're talking about the mages you rescued from Amaria Leonida. I rescued them. That's what we did. We took him in, we gave him food, and then they showed their true face. What do you mean by that? Showed their true face? You know what I mean. You saw them yourself. The abominations. They were the mages the villagers took in. Aye, the, the biggest mistake of our lives. It all just, it just happened so quickly, you know. One night we had supper with them, then all of a sudden one of these things shows up, coming out of old Bertrand's house. <laughs> then the killing started. From the body of every defiler, that creature killed another abomination appeared. And they kept going until everyone was dead. How did you survive? I, I don't know. When they got to my house, they just stopped. Maybe because daylight had broken. That did not stop them from attacking us. There must have been another reason. I doubt we'll find out. How is that possible, though? Abominations don't always appear when a mage dies. They're an anomaly. It probably has to do with when Lacane unleashed the Archfire in your father's laboratory. He released a massive blast of magic, and this could be one of the after-effects. So, one of the mages died of a natural cause and created an abomination, which killed the others who became abominations, too. A chain reaction. Huh? Judging by the way you talk, you're mages, too, aren't you? I knew it. Well, listen up, friend. The purity is right. You're demons, the whole lot of you, and you should be hunted down. If you didn't exist, this fucking world wouldn't be the place it is. I understand your anger. <laughs> you don't. Now just leave me alone. I, I need to think. Are you deaf? Just leave me alone! Are you deaf? Just leave me alone!
blasted armor. Hmm. That didn't go as expected. Fine. Understood. I'll take a Wait, you're Corporal Tahar, aren't you? I am. And I'm here to see Wayland Talad. I figured as much. Go on ahead. He's back at his tent. He can't miss it. Got it. Mm. Sure. Tahar, am I right? Yes. And you must be Wayland Hallett. I am. And you're in the company of a dwarf. What brought you so far from the Halls of Stone, friend? Uh, that's a long story. Well, I hope I get to hear it one day. I have to admit, I had something different in mind when they told me the stories about you, Tahar. Though there can be no question about the magic inside you. It's intense. You're a mage? No, but I learned to recognize the signs. There's just something in the eyes of a gifted one that can't be mistaken. But I digress. I know why you're here. The Conclave. You want the support of House Hallett and House Wolfgar to march against the Harbinger of Light. Correct. Good. I guess you've been told already that this alliance will be... complicated. As long as that old ox Shane is in charge, there won't be an alliance. He despises our house, but I suppose you know that much already. What's the story behind that feud, anyway? In short, we didn't send House Wolfgar the reinforcements he requested, and the division his daughter fought in was completely massacred by your father's followers. Why didn't you send them? Because it would have been suicide to go in there alone. Instead, we waited for the Royal Army to appear and marched in together. It was over in a matter of seconds. Sending them in, nonetheless, would have meant sacrificing 100 men, women, sons and daughters for nothing. Every commander would have done the same. So what do you suggest? Simple. Join House Hallett and House Utrin. Join? You mean... I want Myra Utrin, Lady of House Utrin, to give me her hand in marriage. Our combined power would outshine even the former House Leonidar. Do you love her? I might, in time. She is a smart and beautiful woman. Myra isn't well. The Harbinger sees control of her mind, and she has been... changed ever since. It will pass. And just how will that help us get Wolfgar under our banner? Well, think. The United Houses of Hallett and Utrin are too powerful for House Wolfgar to continue playing Lone Wolf. We could simply force them into submission. That is correct. If House Utran and Hallett became one entity, Wolfgar's army becomes an ant facing a giant. But that would make you, Hallett, the most powerful noble in Nortender. That's the idea. My offer stands. And judging by the position of the sun, the Conclave is due to take place soon, isn't it? It is. Good. My scouts reported undead in the fortress, and I sent some men to clear them out. But they haven't come back yet. Maybe you could take a look there yourself? According to the rumors, you're quite the fighter. I'll see what I can do. Good. Let's meet there once it's been cleared out, together with the Wolfgar brothers and Lady Myra. Hmm. A marriage. That's asking for a lot. Yet it might be our only chance. You should talk to Myra about this. Hmm. And now what? Seems like the only way to get both houses united under the same banner is to have Myra marry Wayland Hallett. Or we simply tell them both to go to the Claws of Nor. We can win this war ourselves, Tahar. No need for human politics. Maybe. Zarek guides me. Uh, all right, why not? Fine. We'll do. Tiara's breath. You there, help us! 
Walking corpses. Take them down. Blazes. Thank you. You're Tahar, aren't you? The good one? Yeah. Lord Hallett sent me to help you out. The Conclave is due to happen soon. He did? Tiara, bless him. He told us to clear out this place for the Conclave, but we didn't expect so much resistance. Thank you for your help, Lady Tahar. This might have ended ugly. This way, right? Understood. Hmm. That's the way? This place is a bloody graveyard. I will do it or not. Fine plan. Got it. Fine. you want understood Dead. Whatever is necessary. Um, mm. yes, of course. Will do. As you want. Huh? Armors and shields. Everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. <laughs> Got 
Come again. May Tiara bless your path. Yes, Tahar? Do you require anything else? I've had a talk to Wayland Hallett. He proposes a marriage between House Utran and House Hallett to force the Wolfgars into submission. By a marriage, you mean he has asked for my hand? Yes. I will... do what is necessary. Angar, what is your take on this? You've been quiet. The battle ahead might be tough, but making the Hallets the strongest house in Northander, I do not like that idea. I understand. How do you feel about Wayland? I don't know him, so I do not feel any particular emotions towards him. This is your decision, Myra. You're the lady of House Utran. Yes. I am. But, as I said, I will do whatever is necessary. If you think it takes this marriage to save Nortander, then I will do it. So you want me to decide? Yes. Do what you must, Tahar. I will accept your decision. And now? We should not do this, Tahar. Moira is not capable of making such a decision in her current state of mind. Maybe. But I don't see this alliance happening any other way. The battle for Greyfell will be bloody, Tahar. Make no mistake about that. It might be a marriage for the lives of hundreds of soldiers. Let's yes, see. Tahar? Do you require anything else? I'll be off. If you insist. Uh, all right, why not? Good move. Blasted armor. Hmm. What is it? I just realized that I never got the chance to ask my mother where and how Osamo found her. He brought her into the fortress to experiment on her, that I know. But where was she before that? A Shaper City? You should ask her, once we've saved her from the cane. I will. Now would you look at that? Lord Hallett, it has been a while. It has. How are you, Shane? What about the wound? Is it still healing? I'm fine. The only reason I'm here is courtesy. We won't march with either of you. Neither House Utran nor House Hallett, nor the Betrayer's Child's makeshift army. Really? Well, I think that's not decided yet. Lady Myra, I hereby ask for your hand. Is this a joke? It's not. Lady Myra, what is your answer? There must be another way to convince you to join us. It's all or nothing, Tahar. The marriage in exchange for the troops. But the purity won't spare you. You know that, right? No, I don't. Do you? House Hallett is a powerful foe, but we could also be a powerful ally. Don't get me wrong, Tahar. I don't like this Lacane character. Not at all. 
But right now, all I'd get for helping you in that battle would be a pile of Hallet corpses. You're quite the pragmatist. Call it what you will. Myra is in no condition to make a decision of that scale. The marriage will not happen. That's regrettable. Though I'd like her to tell me herself. I am sorry, Lord Hallett. But I am afraid this won't be possible. <laughs> Seems that your feelings are unrequited, Lord Hallett. I see. Well, that is unfortunate, to say the least. But if your heart tells you so, who am I to question your decision? It appears that you were right, Lord Wolfgar. There will be no alliance, neither between our houses nor between House Hallett and House Utrin. It's a pity, Tahar. I wish things had turned out different. We will leave the swamp at first light tomorrow. Are you sure? What do you... Now! For the light! For the light! Purity! Let's see what we can do. Don't harm my brother! Observed, brother. Traitor. Yeah, I guess I did. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, that was the idea, wasn't it? But why? I don't understand, Ulrich. <laughs> did you really think I'd just stand by and watch while House Wolfgar breaks into pieces? You, you don't even see it. You're obsessed with your bloody feud with Hallett, and even though we don't even have the money to pay for our soldiers' food anymore, you seem to think that we still live in the old days, when House Wolfgar still mattered. I'm sorry, brother, but I won't just stand by and watch while you destroy all our fathers and forefathers have worked for. We can't win this war, neither by ourselves nor with the Betrayer's Child's army. Lacan, his fanatics, and his creations are simply way too powerful. So, he made me an offer, and I accepted. You told them of the Conclave. Correct. But it's over. We fought off the ambush. That was just a taste of what they have prepared. They have an entire army in the Northwest. It's massive. You will fall. All of you. I was hoping I'd get out of this alive, but it seems that I won't. What do you mean? I'm a traitor, and even though Corporal Tahar has quite some first-hand experience with betrayal herself, I doubt she'll show mercy when it's someone else doing it. By the... No! If you do so much as touch him, I'll kill you. I swear it, Tahar. I'll kill you! He has broken the Queen's law, and there's no tribunal around to judge him. That means that there's only one option. Don't you have anything to say in your defense? Nothing I haven't said already. 
You will get a trial once all this is over. Until then, you're our prisoner. Huh. Well, this is a surprise. Are you mad? You're not taking my brother. Blaze is Shane. He betrayed all of us, even you. We're being merciful here, so don't act like a bloody child. But... <sighs> He's right, brother. Don't push it. Fine. I did not know of this intrigue, so I cannot be held responsible for it. And though Ulrich is of Wolfgar blood, I am the Lord. He acted of his own free will. In other words, my position still hasn't changed. House Wolfgar will not support you. I'm afraid the same goes for House Hallett. I'm very sorry you didn't deem our support worthy of your love, Lady Myra. Now there will be no one to cover your back. House Hallett will return to Windwall. Good luck, Tahar. Sure. This Expansion looks like a suitable place. To victory. This will be a masterpiece. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Hmm. Zerid guides me. Fine. Sure. <laughs> Blasted armor. Expansion is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. A fine plan. Got it. Yes. We lost the sector, Commander. Healing. Need healing. Uh, all right. Why not? You want. We're being attacked. Healing. Need healing. That's the way. This way, right? Let's burn them. Sure, sure. Help me. They 
will fall. You want. Uh, all right, why not? Not now. Population is at maximum capacity. We need to expand. Our provisions are running low. We need more food. <laughs> Blasted armor. Building completed. Commander, we need to stock up on stone. Uh, something you need? is the key to the victory. outpost has been built we've expanded our borders All right, why not sure commander we need to stock up on stone This will be a masterpiece. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Commander, we need to stock up on stone. Building completed. What is Will it? Will do. Mm. Zarek guides me. That's the way? Hmm. Commander, we need to stock up on stone. Commander. Heading out. Yes? Got it. This way, right? Sure. Yes, a good idea. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Stay away from their claws. Danger up ahead. Fine. Hmm. Attacked. 
Building completed. You read my mind. Understood. They will fall. Fine. This way, right? Zarek As you want me. Mm. Mm. Building completed. That's the way. Good move. Um, yes, of course. Sure. Fine plan. Commander, we need to stock up on stone. Huh? Will do. Yes, of course. Got building completed. Fine. This way, right? Zarek, uh, all right, why not? This way, right? Fine. As you want. A fine plan. Building completed. Healing. Need healing. I will do as I must. Not now! Um, yes, of course. Not now!
Yes? Understood. Hmm? Fine. I'll keep you shielded. For the fire wielders! Not now! Hmm? Blast it. Building completed. Good move. <laughs> Building completed. Sure. Um, yes, of course. Understood. Provisions are running low. We need more food. Yes, that's the way. Fine. Building completed. Mm. It'll only take a second. Got it. Building completed. Understood. Everything has an end. As you want. Uh, all right, why not? Commander, let us make this quick. Hmm? Zarek guides me. Will do. A fine plan. Nothing will get past us. Corporal? This way, right? Um, yes, of mm. course. Will do. Hmm. Blasted armor. Good move. Our population is at maximum capacity. We need to expand. Ah, that should be. Good. 
Our smiths need more iron. Fighting. Does this never end? Fine. Mm. Let me recover. What do you want? Healing. Need healing. Damn it. I need healing! Mm. Got it. Good Fine. Move. Our smiths need more iron. Completed. Uh, all right, why not? Um, yes, of course. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good work. I think this was all of them. Let's head back to our camp now. Time to return to Mullendir. Fine by me. That was enough human politics to last me a lifetime. Huh? Mm. Yes? Expansion is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Fine plan. This looks like a suitable place. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Got it. The way. As you want. A fine plan. Mm. This, this looks like a, a suitable place. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Understood. This would be a masterpiece. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Good. Building completed. So much to do. All right, then. Let's get to it. Zarek guides me. What's next? Hmm. This will be a masterpiece. A good idea. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Hmm? This looks like a suitable place. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Come on! Don't die on us now! Yes. 
Come on! Don't die on us now! We should get moving. This will be a That's masterpiece. A good idea. This looks like a suitable place. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. built. We've expanded our borders. Yes? Expansion is the key to victory. Let me know what you need. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Building completed. Only take a second. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Building completed. Building completed. The Rocker. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Building completed. Hmm, what is it? Come on! Don't die on us now! Building completed. Come on! Don't die on us now! Come on! Don't die on us now! Let me know what you need. Um, yes, of course. I don't know how to say this, but thank you. For what? For not getting Myra to that man. I realized that she agreed, but we both know her mental state is... questionable. I'm glad you saw that. Though, of course, I had hoped for a different outcome. But now we lost both of the houses. This doesn't increase our odds against the purity. I hope you realize that. Anyway, no point in delaying the inevitable any further. We should discuss the upcoming battle in the span. Are you ready?
There's something I need to take care of first. Then be quick about it. Yes, Corporal? How can I help? Hmm. 